Christians, we really need to rethink how we answer the question, why does bad things happen to good people? I'm hearing Christians make the statement, I know their heart's right and I know they mean well, but they're making the statement, well, there are no good people. That's why bad things don't happen to good people. Bad things happen to sinful people for we've all sin to come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, no, not one. We're not good. And I, I agree with that, except for that's really not the question that they're asking. They're asking, why did my child die? Why is it that so-and-so had cancer and died? Why is it that somebody attacked this innocent little girl? Why does these things happen to people that really, they're really good people? And there's a lot of people that are what we would classify as good people. Now, if you can go to the theological side of it, sure, none is good. None is righteous without Jesus Christ. We get that. But that's really two different subjects, and it's it's difficult at first to look at, and I'll get a lot of people arguing with me about this when I say it, because a lot of really uh, sharp preachers out there saying this, when somebody says, why does bad things happen to good people? And they say, well, there ain't no good people. You're missing the point. The point is you got somebody standing in front of you and they're suffering and they're crying down in their soul and they're hurting because somebody they love or someone they know, they, they've gone through tragedy we got to get to where that person is that's asking the question, why, why, why did this person who has not, never hurt anybody and they're, they're good people, they've helped in the community, they, they've done these wonderful things, or they're just an innocent kid or even an innocent adult and they get caught in a crossfire. Why does bad things happen to them? Well, first of all, I just want to say that bad things happen because Satan introduced sin in the world and Adam and Eve accepted the lie of Satan over the truth of God and it plunged humanity into this uh, sin-scarred world and the curse of sin upon all of humanity. And so what happens is things will happen to people that they really were innocent in the situation. It's so difficult to understand. And so what they do is they get angry with God. And on my page, when I when I post videos about how wonderful God is, um, inevitably people will come back and say, your God is so terrible. He, he, he made this happen to my loved one or that loved one. And I'm saying, oh, you're missing the point. And people say, I'm so angry at God because he let someone die in my life. And I'm saying, you're missing the point. The point is, God is love. And he proved his love by sending Jesus Christ to step in for us that we might be saved. Satan is a devil, and he's, a, he's one of hatred. He's one of destruction. He is the one who causes anybody to suffer. And so anytime someone you love uh, gets bad things happen to this person, don't fall on the side of the devil and hate God. You fall against Satan and say, he's the one who introduced all this in this world, and he's the one that I'm rebelling against. And if you want to get back at Satan, you will run to Jesus Christ because God loves you for God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So bad things do happen to good people in that frame, the way that question is being asked. And yes, it is true, there's none righteous, no, not one. But that's another story altogether. It's a whole different subject. But bad things do happen to good people, to, to people who are innocent of why did this happen? It happens because Satan is in this world. He is very active. He is very real. It is very evident that there is a evil one that's ruling and reigning over us. And he has that right away because Adam and Eve accepted him into our humanity. And God is busy at work trying to redeem humanity. And he, so he has laid down an atonement for our sins that we might be saved. And later in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, it says that God is going to make all things right. And so if we could understand it's not just about the time we're here on earth, but it's about also the eternity there with God. Here on earth... Man, it don't amount to a, a drop in the ocean compared to how wonderful it's going to be in heaven. And so our sufferings on this earth, they can't even be compared to the glories we're going to receive in heaven. And whenever something happens to a small child and, and they're, they're unfortunately, uh, their life is shortened and they're taken out of here, that's horrible on this side. But on that side in heaven, those children are going on to be with the Lord and they don't have to go through the hell of this earth but they enjoy the glories of God and we will be with them in heaven someday.
And so the answer to the question is why does bad things happen to good people is because Satan is a liar and Adam and Eve are fools and they accept the descent in their life and all down through Humanity, we've all done the same thing where we believe the lie of the devil over the truth of God's word. And in this situation, we're doing the same thing. And Satan is kicked back laughing at you whenever you blame God for the death of an innocent child. I'm telling you, it's not God's fault. God is the one who sent his son. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He loves us and he wants to save us. He wants to give us a future. He wants to make all things right. But you got to stop believing the lie of the devil. And you got to run to Jesus and believe that God is the one who can take care of your soul. And he's coming back for us one day. And so I want to encourage you, look to Jesus Follow him. Nobody's ever loved you like Jesus loves you. Run to Jesus. Come on, y'all. Let's follow Jesus.